Kahalaw, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rukal, Kadesh, Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh Shah, Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh Shah, Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh Shah, Kahalaw, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rukal, Kadesh, Double honors to the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone who were well and taught me this truth, and peace and salutations to the house of David, the elect man who pushing this truth in faith and sincerity. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rukal, Kadesh, Barakadam. Tell you your listeners who may hear this. All right, Mr. Brother Yutazaka. All right, coming back at you with another quick lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh. I pray through the spirit, uh, so like I pray that this uh video is edifying for you, brothers. And I'm gonna entitle it somewhere on the lines of um, Jake don't want to listen, doesn't want to listen to the prophets, they're gonna have to listen when destruction comes or something on that line. All right, because. Jake don't want to listen to the to the man of the Lord. He don't want to hear it from another man. Like uh, Jake feel like, uh, what what can another man tell me? You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, he, you just another man like me. You just come in with your opinion, okay? You just come in with your your thoughts, uh, formulated thoughts. You're not understanding these 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 words that we speak and these thoughts that we have were given uh, by the heavenly Father to to. Uh, you know, uh, push points out to Jake. All right, push this doctrine out to Jake. All right, this is actually the doctrine of the heavens that we speak and that we uh, that we, that we speak in and that we uh, iterate to our people, man. All right, that, that that we put out, push out to our people, man. All right, but Jake don't want to hear it. They don't, you know, they 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 don't hold these words or this truth is no value, you know. So since they don't want to listen to the prophets, yeah, with your Habashi Mashiach, he gonna put them to death, man. All right, you don't want to listen, you're going to die. All right, this is point blank period. See, Jake don't want to listen. All right, but we're going to, I'm going to get a, a few precepts, you know, just going more into this topic. You know, I pray this edifying. I'm going to start right here in Isaiah chapter 49, verse 1. Listen. All right, let's get this word, listen, before we even go any further. Let's see what listen, what, what, what we get for listen. Okay. And it's Shema. Strong's H, Shema. 8085. Shema. Shamaya. It says and second entry. Salakia. Shamaya. Shamaya. Salakia. It says to hear, listen, to obey. Alright, so to hear and obey. Okay, and Jake don't want to hear nothing. Alright, Jake. Well, they, Jake being that Kanye whisperer, you can't tell me nothing, man. Alright. To hear, perceive by ear, to hear of or concerning. To hear, have power to hear. To hear with intention or interest, listen to him. Jake don't have no interest in the, in the, in the word in the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. That, that, that doesn't interest them, man. Okay, they don't want to hear about this, not knowing that this is everything, man. All right, this is this is the end all be all right here, man. All right, the the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the way Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is a, is, is a tree of life, man. All right, a, a, a to immortality. Okay. It says to understand, Jake don't understand not a damn thing. All right. To listen, to give heed, Jake is not giving heed, man. To consent and agree, agree, Jake do not agree with this. He don't consent with this. All right. To to listen to, yield to, to obey, be obedient, and Jake is disobedient as hell, man. All right. Jake is disobedient as what? What? what how? Do you get uh how, how do you be obedient? Well, I'll tell you about that in Wisdom of Solomon in the first chapter. All right, about how the Holy Spirit teaches you discipline, man. All right, that teaches you how to be obedient, man. All right, that, that, that teaches you obedience. The Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is you have to have the Holy Spirit on you to be able to break down this doctrine in its proper form and, and, and feed it to our people to where they can hear it. But Jake don't want that. All right, so that's how that's why they cannot receive a spirit of obedience. All right. It says to be regarded, and Jake don't regard the prophets. Jake don't regard Yahabashi Melsha. All right, to cause to hear, call to hear, summon, to make a proclamation, to cause to be heard. Okay, to hear intelligently, obedience, man. Okay, yeah. So that's the, we we got the point on that, man. Okay, Jake Jake does not want to consent, agree. Okay, take heed, hearken. Okay, uh, obey. Okay, be obedient to the the words you have by Shimei and, 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 and his man that he set up. All right, 
So what's gonna happen to them? They gonna they gonna get put to death. Okay. This is Isaiah chapter forty nine verse one. Listen, O owls, o, unto me, and hearken, yea, people from far. All right, cause you got our people spread all all, all across the four corners of the globe, man. All right, and then on top of that, all right, the, the heavenly Father has uh through through the, through the uh, our Lord Yahweh Shaham Mashiach and the uh the, the spirit of Rakakadash, the holy angels, man. All right, he 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 has uh, sent his word down here through through man. He's he's used. Our Lord Yahweh Shai and the uh, the holy angels to work on man's mind to be able to receive and understand this truth and be able to go push it out to others, man. All right. So that's how we can hearken from far because this is actually coming from the Shemayams, man. All right. This is actually coming from the heavens. The heavenly father has actually sent uh, our brothers, the angels, all right, from the fourth dimension to actually come down here and work on our minds and open our minds up to be able to understand this and push this word out. Okay. So we got to hearken from afar, man. All right, this that's just how heavy this is, man. All right, people don't even understand. This is this is very spiritual, man. You know, so this this these words are not just words, man. These are actually words that's coming through through, through divine inspiration. You know, it says, "Listen, O owls, unto me and hearken, ye people from far. The Lord have called me from the womb. Yeah, the Lord, how about she outside called us from the womb, man? All right, see this." Everybody has their purpose in life, like Jake like to say. All right, I want to know what my purpose is. Well, you know what the prophet's purpose was. All right, while they was born, they was they they was born uh, to for for a predestinated time to be able to receive this Holy Spirit, this doctrine, okay, and push it out to the people so they can receive it, understand it, and take heed, and, and, and possibly receive salvation, man. Our right, Yahweh Shimei Asha has set this up from the womb before we was even born. We were set up to be do it, to, to to push this work. That's how powerful this is. All right, Jake don't really fully understand the full capacity of this man. How deep this is. Why why you should take heed and why you should listen. You know, it says the Lord have called the Lord Yahweh Shimei Asha have called me from the womb, from the bowels of my mother. He made mention of my name. And he have made my mouth like a sharp sword. And that's what our mouth is. According to Hebrews, the four, uh, fourth chapter, man. Or when it says the words of the Lord are sharper than any two-edged sword, dividing asunder soul and spirit, man. All right. And that's why a lot of Jakes, they they uh, reject this word and, and don't hearken and take heed to this word because it, it, it cut them up spiritually, man. You know, it, it, it cut them to the core, you know. It says, and he have made... And he hath made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand he hath hit me. Woo. And made me a polished shaft. In his quiver have he hit me. Yeah, so we actually are, are weapons on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father through through, through this word, man. He like 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 we spoke about Hebrews the fourth chapter, man. Alright. And, 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 and this weapon is so powerful that Jake gets on the defense. Alright, because you know, that's that's just like you see somebody with a uh a, a gun around you, you know, and you ain't got a gun, okay, you feel like you gotta be on your P's and Q's, man, alright, you, 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 you gotta, you, you gotta, uh, you, you gotta, you might have to act like you got a gun on you or something, you know, you, you might have to, uh, play it off like you, like you don't fear, like, like you, like your, like your, uh, confidence has not been swayed away, you know, if I'm explaining this right, you know, just like if you're in a situation where you feel like somebody got the upper hand, you're going to automatically get on the defense. And that's how Jake is. All right, because this word is powerful. It's a weapon. All right, so automatically Jake gets defensive. All right, not knowing that this is really for, for your own good, man. All right, this word is, this, this, this weapon is here for your protection, man. All right, it's not here to destroy you, but ultimately if you don't want to take heed to it, then it's going to lead to your destruction, you know. Uh, verse 3 and said unto me thou art my servant O Israel whom in whom I will be glorified I'm gonna keep reading out a little bit more then I said I have labored in vain I have spent my strength for naught and in vain yet surely my judgment is with the Lord Yahweh shot and my work with my power Yahweh and now said the Lord Yahweh shot that formed me from the womb to be his servant to bring Jacob again to him Though Israel be not gathered, yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Shai, and Yahweh shall be my strength. Alright, so that's pretty much the point on that. Alright, 
Yahweh has formed us in the womb to be his servant to bring Jacob, the nation of Israel, again to him, man. All right, so these these words that we are speaking, okay, these men that Yahweh has set up to to bring these words are, are actually for your own good, man. All right, this, this this actually for your own good. It's for your health, man. It's not for your detriment, okay. It's actually to to bring you back and, to the heavenly Father, man. All right, so the heavenly Father can. Uh, place uh, his grace upon you, man. All right, so you can be glorified within him, man. All right, but see, uh, so, so he can be glorified within you, Salaki. All right, but Jake don't fully understand how how deep this is, man. All right, that's powerful, man. You know, that's very powerful, man. But Jake doesn't uh, accept that. Jake doesn't accept that. So what is Yahweh going to do? He's going to destroy them. Okay. So let's go here to Hosea. Hosea. Chapter 12. I think it's 12 and 9. Uh, 12 and 10. Salakia. This is uh, Hosea chapter 12, verse 10. I have also spoken by the prophets. So Yahabashimasha, he speaks by the prophets, okay? That's how Yahabashimasha speaks by the prophets, okay? He's not going to uh, say nothing to you personally, man. All right? It says, I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. All right, let's get that word similitude. All right, so you got visions, similitudes, and words of Yahabashim Yahshai coming to you by the prophets, man. All right, but see, Jake don't understand how deep this is. This is actually the Heavenly Father. Uh, this, this is the, the, the Heavenly Father's power in, 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 in this ministry and these words in the prophets, man. But Jake don't take heed to that. All right. But that word for similar tools is uh Strong's H eighteen nineteen. Dama. 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 To be like resemble. To be like resemble. To make oneself like. Like like in thought, compare, devised. Okay, let's go down to Strong's definition. To compare by implement implication. To resemble, liken. Consider, compare, devise, mean thing, mean thing, use similar tools. And that's spiritual. They were similar tools because you got a lot of different brothers who break down this word in, in, in different type of ways. All right, brothers, our brothers got their own type of way of breaking this word down. Every, every, every different brother has his own different type of style to be able to push the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh You know, and that's. That's Yahabashi Mashah speaking in similar tools uh, through through different brothers. Because you can't, okay, if you say this brother, you're not really fond to how he speak or you're not really fond. You can't really understand how he speak or you're not, your spirit don't really connect with his spirit like that. Well, Yahabashi Mashah got uh, similar tools of, way for, of ways for you to receive and understand this truth. All right. So you can't. Say you don't want to listen because because of this reason right here. Well, you can listen with your Habashim Yashai got similar tools of, of, of ways for you to be able to listen and take heed to it. You know, but see, Jake just overall, he just don't want to do it. He, he, he just don't want to. He don't want to follow the ways of your Habashim Yashai. He don't want to be obedient to your Habashim All right. So your Habashim Yashai set up men. You know, to, to to speak this word and Jake, you know, the Jake Jake don't want to hear it. Why? Because he he despises our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who is the word, okay? They're anti-Christ, anti mashiachs All right, and ultimately they 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 despise the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, man. You know? They 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 despise this whole program, they des despise this doctrine, they 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 despise despise the way that uh Yahweh Mashiach has set things up, you know. I'm going to read this one more time. This Hosea chapter 12 verse 10. I have also spoken by the prophets and I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. By the ministry of the prophets, man. Okay. You go into that word uh, minister, it means to serve. So by the servitude of the man of Yahabashim Yahushah, that's how Yahabashim Yahushah speaks, man. All right. And you got men of all different statues, all different type of backgrounds. All different type of forms of ways of, of 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 pushing this word, but ultimately they all in the same mind. All right, that's your how about Shem Yahshai speaking by the, uh, the the similar tools of the ministry, man. You know, or the prophets. Okay, but Jake don't understand that. Jake, 
Jake can't, he don't have that eyesight to even understand uh, every, everything that they're speaking of in these scriptures is really actually manifested, man. It's really going on, you know. Let's let's get it right here. Yep, yep. This is Ezekiel chapter three verse five. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of a hard language, but to the house of Israel. Right. So that's that's a that's another uh that's a precept to back up that Hosea twelve, man. All right. By speaking by the multiplied visions and the similitude of the ministry of the prophets are the similitudes, okay? Because Yahabashim Yashah, he ain't set up no no uh, heathens, okay? Or, you know, nobody with no super articulate uh, men, so to speak, that we're, to where you can't understand it, man. All right, he got, he, he's, he, he's brought up so-called lowly men, man. All right, humble, hum, humble, lowly men, you know? Who, who, who are not esteemed in this world and, and, and not wise considered to this world all right but ultimately you how about she Shai uses them you know to, to 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 bring his word so so it's not a hard thing to understand you how about she you know what i'm saying like he, he making it plain upon tables so he's using man to make it as easy as understand as possible he's making it simplistic as as, as, as ever man you know but scriptures do speak about uh people being offended Within the simplicity in Yah of Yahweh Shah, you know, it says, uh, verse 5 For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of an hard language, but to the house of Israel. So we sent, we, we know what these guys talking about, okay? We, it's not like we can't understand what you're saying, okay? We can't understand your uh, rebuttals, okay? We can't understand, uh, like, like we can't understand or your comebacks and, and what you might be saying, your. And, and, and your combative nature, okay? We we understand that. Why? Because you have I set this up, okay? So so though so the nation of Israel can listen, okay? It says not to many people of a strange speech and of an hard language whose words thou cannot understand. Surely I sent thee to them; they would have hearkened unto thee. So if we would have went to a, a heathen nation, you know what I'm saying? Uh. That, that that couldn't understand us You know what I'm saying He made it uh, as simple and as plain as he done made it for Jake They would hearken unto him But Jake not going to hearken That's what proved that the so called Negroes, Latinos and Native Indians Are the the, the, ch the children of Israel Because they doing what the Heavenly Father Told us that they was going to do <laughs> You know what I'm saying So so Jake Jake uh, If any other nation could have the, the the benefits and 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 the luxuries that Yahweh Shem Yashai has bestowed for the children of Israel, they they would definitely take heed and listen to it. All right, Jake does not do that. Okay. It says, verse seven. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me. So Yahweh Shem Yashai said, they're not gonna listen to you. They don't even listen to me. These niggas don't even listen to me. So why the hell would they listen to you? Okay. And, and, and that's exactly why Jake don't listen to us, man. All right, they don't even want to listen to the Heavenly Father himself, man. Okay? Well, uh, go, go read Exodus, man. Okay? Go read Exodus. Go read go, go read Chronicles. Go, go, go read the whole scriptures, man. In, in and out the whole scriptures, man. You how, Jake don't listen to you. How about Shem Yahushua? Okay? It says, for they will not hearken unto me, for all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. Yeah, and that's, that's Jake, man. All right. Jake is impudent and hard-hearted. You go into that word impudent, pretty much means stupid, man. All right. Jake's stupid. Okay. And hard-hearted, man. All right. Hard-headed hard ass niggas, man. All right. Do not want to listen. You go into that word. The heart in the Hebrew means love, which is your mind. So they got hard-ass heads, man. Hard-ass minds, man. All right. That it, it's so hard to that where they can't listen, okay? They refuse to listen, okay? Let's get this in Psalms 81. I just wanted to get that point about how they, our people won't even, they, they don't listen to us. They, shit, they don't even listen to the Heavenly Father himself. <laughs> they, you, so these niggas, they just not going to listen, all right? This Psalm chapter 81, verse 8. Hear, O my people, and I will testify unto thee, O Israel, if thou will hearken unto Unto me, if that so, you how about you? said, say, if you hear, all right, if you if that's another word for listen, okay, if you hear, 
I will testify unto thee. Testify. How, how is the testimony coming? Through the prophets, man. We, Hosea 12 and, 12 and 10. Okay. It says, And I will testify unto thee, O Israel, if thou wilt hearken unto me. There shall no strange God be in thee, neither shall thou worship any strange God. And this, so if, if you hearken to Yahabashim Yahshah, you would know not, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't uh, serve no strange God. All right. If you hearken to the prophets of Yahabashim Yahshah, the, 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 the sincere, faithful man of Yahabashim Yahshah with the proper doctrine, if you hearken and listen unto that, you wouldn't have to worry about serving no, no, no false God, command idols to where you're going to get put to death, you know. I am the Lord, thy power, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth my, wide, and I will fill it. Right, so, <laughs> I'll fill it with what? The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. All right, eat, eat what I give thee. All right, what is the Heavenly Father giving us? This this, this bread of life. All right, through our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. But my people would not hearken to my voice, and Israel would none of me. Yeah, Yahweh Israel don't want nothing to do with Yahweh Shah man. All right, Israel don't want nothing to do with Yahweh Shah Mashiach. You know? It says, so I gave them up unto their own hearts less. Yeah, so since uh, Israel don't want nothing to do with Yahabashim al they don't want to hear the voice of Yahabashim al which comes through the prophets. All right. It says, he's gave them up to their own hearts less. So so, so I gave them up to their, their own hearts less, man. Their own hearts desires. Okay. So they, they would rather choose the way of their mind. Okay, the desires of their mind, the ways of their mind, rather than choose the way of Yahabashim Yahshai. Why? Because Yahabashim Yahshai allowed them to do that, you know, because they did not want to listen to him. They so he allowed them to just listen to themselves, which listening to yourself is 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 gonna lead to your destruction. It's a way that seems right to the man, a, a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Okay, so Yahabashim Yahshai leave you to your own devices to you. You pretty much commit suicide. All right, to where you utterly perishing your own corruption you know it said so i gave them up unto their hearts lust and they walked in their own counsels and that's what jake do you know oh that my people had hearkened unto me and israel had walked in my ways i should soon have subdued their enemies and turned my hand against their adversaries so if you will hearken and listen to you how about she mouth shot he gonna fight for you man or he gonna be on your side but if you don't want to listen and hearken unto him and guess what? He's not going to be on your side. All right. Actually, he's going to leave you to your own de 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 devices, which your own devices are desperately wicked. And that's going to cause you. How about she might to bring destruction upon you, man? All right. Because he's the judge of the earth. Okay. That's, that's, that's him sitting before you life and death. You know? All right. This um, Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 10. I'll start at 9. Okay. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 9. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, after this manner, I will mar the pride of Judah and the great pride of Jerusalem. Speaking to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, man. All right, Yahweh, I said he's going to cut that pride off, man. All right, he's going to cut that great pride because you got to be prideful as fuck to not listen to the words of Yahweh, I said believe that you got it or you know something or you you on point, you know, where you don't have to listen to Yahweh, I said words because... You know the way, okay? That's prideful as hell, all right? Verse 10, this evil people which refuse to hear my words, and that's to speak about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, the Heavenly Father call you evil, man, all right? Which walk in the imagination of their heart, yep, that, that, that's that's you not taking heed to the words of Yahabashim Yahshah, not listening to Yahabashim Yahshah, so Yahabashim Yahshah allow you to, 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 to follow your own heart's lesson, your own, your, your own counsels. All right. And walk after other gods to serve them. Why? Because they don't take heed to Yahabashim Yahshah. If you take heed to Yahabashim Yahshah fully, you're not going to be able to serve other gods, man. All right. But you pretty much serve another gods once you, um, it, it, you serve, you, you commit rebellion is just the sin of witchcraft, man. All right. Idol tree, stubbornness is just idol tree, man. You know? So it all works hand in hand. Okay. So that's you, you walking after other gods, man. Or right, when you when you walk after the imagination of your own heart, you know, that's because you're not listening to your how about Shimei Alshai. All right. And walk after other gods to serve them and to worship them shall even be as the girdle, which is good for nothing. Right. So 
that's that's uh that, that's that's you uh so called uh Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, man. All right, your your counsels ain't ain't gonna help you, man. All right. It says verse eleven for as the girdle cle girdle cleaveth to the loins of a man, so have I caused to cleave unto me the whole house of Israel and the whole house of Judah, said the Lord Yahabashim Yasha. So Yahabashim Yasha, like pretty much without without my my way, my words, you know, uh my counsel, you ain't gonna be able to keep your pants up. I'm your belt, okay? It's like wearing some big ass pants. You can't you can't keep them up on your slim ass legs without no belt, okay? You got you gotta have the belt, okay? And that's what Yahabashim Yasha words is is our belt. It's our shield and our buckler, man. You know, and without that, you know, we we our, our pants gonna be falling down. All right. Salakia. I'm gonna start right from the top. Um, it's Jeremiah chapter uh, 13 verse 11. For as the girdle cleaveth to the loins of a man, so have I caused to cleave unto me the whole house of Israel, and the whole house of Judah, said the Lord Yahweh. By Shem Yahushua, that they might be unto me for a people and for a name and for a praise and for a glory, but they would not hear. So, ultimately, for us to not get caught with our pants down, we have to hearken unto the ways of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. All right, we have to listen to this word, okay? We have to take heed to this. Why? Because without it, are right, we going to get. Without it, we're going to die. All right, Yahweh by Shem Yahushua has joined us together. We're joined unto Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. Well, we married unto him. All right, you speak about that in Jeremiah the third chapter. All right, therefore thou shalt speak unto them this word that said the Lord Yahweh, the God of Israel. Every bottle shall be filled with wine, and they shall say unto thee, Do we not certainly know that every bottle shall be filled with wine? Then shalt thou say unto them that said the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I will fill all the inhabitants of this land, even the kings that sit upon. David's throne and the priests and the prophets and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem with drunkenness. <laughs> so Yahweh said he, he 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 gonna fill the whole nation of Israel. Okay, uh, uh, he gonna fill the whole nation of Israel with with, with drunkenness. The, the, all the bottles, the the nation of Israel being considered the bottles of wine are all being filled with drunkenness, and the only ones who've been uh, awoken. From this drunkness is the remnant, okay? If 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 it had not been, well, let's see if I can get that real quick. So like you know, I don't have that much time, brothers. Get a couple more. So like you. Know. Yep, yep, call law, y'all. Let's see, man. So here go right here. This is Isaiah chapter 1, verse 9. It says, Except the Lord of hosts, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, had left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom and we have should have been like unto Gomorrah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, like, if you have by Shem Yahweh and leave a small remnant, okay, that, that, that was going to, uh, because cause Yahweh by Shem Yahweh felt the whole nation with drunkenness. Okay, to where no one could really even hark, take heed to this word to be able to receive the glory, you know. So, w without Yahabashim Yashad allowing that to happen to us, we 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 will all be like unto Sodom and Gomorrah, man. We'll be destroyed, man. Or right, we'll end up in that uh in, in that uh, ICBM nuclear fire, man. Nuclear destruction. Okay. It says, and I will dash them one against another, even the fathers and the sons together, said the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushai. I will not pity nor have mercy, but destroy them. You know, so if you are not a part of that small remnant, all right, that, 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 that take heeds and listen unto this word, guess what? You're going to be destroyed. Okay. It says, hear ye and give ear, be not proud, for the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushai, have spoken. So that's the, that's, that's the point right there, man. All right, give ear. And, and take heed and be not proud for the Lord have spoken because what's going to happen to you? Yahabashi Masha not going to pity or show you no mercy. He's going to just utterly destroy you, man. Okay. So let's get this in Ezekiel 20. And I'm going to wrap it up. All right. This is Ezekiel chapter 20. I started seven. All right, this is Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 7. Then said I unto them, Cast ye away every man the abominations of your eyes, and defile not yourselves with the idols of Egypt. Which we went into how stubbornness is, is, is idolatry, man. That's the, that's the way of Egypt, man. All right, which is America, okay? 
I am the Lord, your power, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh but they rebelled against me, and that's, that's you not listening to the word, and would not hearken unto me, they did not every man cast away the abominations of their eyes, neither did they forsake the idols of Egypt. Then I said, I will pour out my fury upon them to accomplish my anger against them in the midst of the land of Egypt. So, and that's here in America, man. All right, so you have Bashim Yahshua, he's going to uh, accomplish his anger against you and lay out his fury upon you, which is fury is violent anger, man. All right, because Jake got a thing where they say, uh, we well, we all going to die. Well, you don't want no parts of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua's death, man. I like to speak about in 2 Ezra, the ninth chapter, those who have loathed my law, all right, and despise it when, when yet they had liberty, the same must know it after death by pain, okay? So that's, that's, that's what the nation of Israel going to have to experience, okay? Fathers and sons getting smashed together, like it was speaking about in Jeremiah, the 13th chapter. You know, daughters, watching your daughter get raped, all right, get cut to pieces. Okay, harsh ass deaths, man. All right, wild beasts, famine, okay. And, and, and how about Shemal Shah? He's gonna bring all your delusions upon you, man. All your, your, your worst fears upon you, okay, because you don't want to hearken unto him, you don't want to listen to him, okay. You're gonna, you're gonna be destroyed, all right. So that's it, man. You know, I pray through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem. I said it's edifying. I want to give our praises to Yahweh Hashem. Yahweh Shah, Hashem. We call Kadash. Double honors to the apostle and elders of great millstone. Rule well. And peace and salutations to the house of David. Shalom to the elect.